Lights, Camera, Revolution by yeah. Suicidal Tendencies. Woohoo! Their fifth studio album, released on July 3rd oh. of 1990. This peaked at number 101 on Billboard's, on Billboard's mm. charts. Should have been higher. Mm-hmm. Nominated for a Grammy in 1991 and lost to a cover song. Yes. Oh. Lost to Stone Cold Crazy. Yeah. Which is a good cover, but... But no, shouldn't have lost. Shouldn't have lost. I agree 100%. Uh, Loudwire's number eight thrash album, not released by the Big Four, mm-hmm. oh. and I, you know, I, it's a great album. Yeah, great fucking record. Uh, our our cast of characters: we have Mike Muir on lead vocals. The soul, uh, he's been there from you know, it, it's Mike's band, and the only other soul remi- remaining member of Suicidal Tendencies from beginning to now. Lead guitarist, Rocky George. Okay. Mm-hmm. On r- rhythm guitar, we got Mike Clark, RJ Herrera on the drums, and a name you guys might know from another band. Correct. On bass, yep. Robert Trujillo. Yep. yep. This is Trujillo's second album with Suicidal Tendencies, I believe. Okay. Great fucking record. Uh, starts off with a song that in a, like to a larger audience... Um, like if you were already into ST, you knew who you knew who these guys were. Mm-hmm. But if you didn't, if you weren't already down with suicidal tendencies, this is a song that broke them to a lot of people. It's, you can't bring me down. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you want to talk about a fucking? What the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> did my doorbell just ding? No, my my fucking laptop did. You want to talk about a... F- Are they okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to stop that now. Uh, anyway, yeah, everything's fine. All right. It's... Fuck, you want to talk about an angry fucking song. Oh, my God, is he pissed when he's I think the whole, the whole album comes off as... The just, whole album is angry. It's just pissed off, at, which is great because at, at this stage in, in Gen Xer's life, we need to be angry. Yeah. <laughs> um, well... Th- you can't bring me down. Is what, what a way to start a fucking mm-hmm. album. Yes. First off, let's take it from the start out. Uh, take it from the start. Straight out can change what's in my heart. No one can tear my dreams apart. You ain't. You can't bring me. You ain't never seen no one like me. Power flows inside of me. Uh, you can't bring me down. Mm-hmm. Who the hell are you calling crazy? You wouldn't know yeah. what crazy was if Charles Man was Manson was eating Fruit Loops on your front porch. Mm-hmm. I used that line for years. That's a, it's just a, it's a great song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's such a fucking great song. And it's got the ultimate... It's got the ultimate retort at the end of the song to anybody who's telling you to just calm down. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you, uh, can you say feel like shit? Yeah, maybe sometimes I do feel like shit, but I'd rather feel like shit than be full of shit. And if I offended you, well, I'm sorry. Well, here's my apology. Oh, because maybe you need to be mm-hmm. offended. Yes. So here's my apology and one more thing. Fuck you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'd like to play that for a lot of people today. <laughs> Ooh, you ain't kidding. I'd like to play it for you two fucks from time oh, to time. Oh, come on. That's not nice. That's not nice. Nah, I'm not a nice guy. Because we're family. That's right. <laughs> That's right, we are, and I don't like a lot of my family. Uh, but anyway, great song, great way to start the record. Next is a this. These guys have such a fucking groove to them. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's heavy as every as anything, but you can fucking bounce to it and groove to it. This song is called "Lost Again." Yes, yep. awesome song. It is a good. It song. is. It's. A, it's. I can't. Say, I'm not going to say much bad about the album. Right. What the hell did he? Got into a war with reality. That's that it, motherfucker, he was waiting for me, yes. and I lost, lost again. again. Yes, hey, you know it's a, it's about you know you think everything's going good, and then reality hits you in the fucking face. Yep. Full disclosure: this is also the first time I'm listening to this album. Really? Yes. Oh. Nice. You're welcome. Thank yeah. him. I said thank him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Posthumously. <laughs> Posthumously. I, I don't like chickpeas. <laughs> right. We're not going to have humus. <laughs> All right, next song, Alone. It's another great yeah, song it's about... A, it's Oh, man, it's, it's a, a, a heart jerker. Yeah, it's a fucking great song about, you know, just feeling utterly 
utterly on your own. I yep. know, and it's like it's like well, the, it sounds fucking suicidal. <laughs> the name of the band is exactly. Suicide, I know, but I'm mean, alone in a room full of people. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. like we've all been there. We, yeah, we've we've definitely all been there. It's like you know, we feel like we're the, you know, it doesn't matter how many people are around us. Yeah, uh, it's 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 you uh, and Mike Muir. You know, it's in his case, mm-hmm. a lot of times he could be al- all alone on a stage with five other dudes, mm-hmm. and you know. Thousands of people watching him. Mm-hmm. Yep. And by the way, Suicidal is one of the greatest live bands I've Ooh, ever seen. Damn. Yeah. Damn. These guys are fucking unbelievable. They live. have energy from start to finish. They do not stop. No. And Psycho Mike's still doing Even, the same moves he was doing back I mean, in back then. Shit. Yeah. And, and to see a drummer be that kinetic. Yeah. You know, and he's a large man. Yeah, you don't see a drummer moving around that much. Drummers don't move around a lot unless they're like Tommy Lee and have a cage with them. Right, but it this was, fucker it, standing on a stool, banging the drums around and dancing. It's like Jesus Christ. And, and, but it wasn't R.J. Herrera. Yeah, uh, I can't remember the dude's name, but uh, it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was before Dave Lombardo joined the band. Mm-hmm. I would have liked to have seen him with Dave Lombardo mm-hmm. from Slayer, but yeah. Uh, you're not going to... I'm with you, Bill. I'm not going to say much bad about this album at all. No. Um, as long as I feel lovely. Because it was lovely. La, 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 lovely. This is the only one I didn't like. Oh, I was... It's just... I don't know. The, the la, 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 lovely. Well, well if that... if you Then you should have listened to the lyrics and maybe you would have fucking yeah. got it. Well... The, the lyric... The song is about... Ignoring the it's about putting blinders on it, ignoring the shit that's going on in the world, like poverty and homelessness. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's Mike Muir's it's Mike Muir's version of a social commentary. Mm-hmm. Just walking down the street, you don't see nothing. As you long know? as I feel lovely, yeah. Screw the people everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Great fucking song. It Give is. it revolution. Next. Now this is the one that I I actually didn't remember this song from the album. If you had had me list like songs on the album, yeah, and it was almost like I was listening to it again for the first time, and it's like I don't know, it I don't remember it. It was like one of the more unmemorable songs from this album. It's still a good song. It 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 is good. It's a good song, but it's like I guess you know all the other ones I didn't have to even think about listening to. Right. This This, one I was like, oh, this seems new to me. This is about taking the power back. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about taking the power back because we've given. Too much of it away. What was the one line in this? You can, you can pull a bullet pull in my, my head, head, but, but you, you can't, can't kill a word I said. Words that you said. I had yeah. that T-shirt. I I had yep. the T. I had that T-shirt. Really? Yes. Yep. I I got in trouble for wearing that. <laughs> no. Yeah. I got I got in trouble for wearing that one to school. <laughs> you can put you can put a bullet in my Eric, head, but you can't kill a word I said. Eric and I have probably spent a lot of time in the offices because of t-shirts we wore. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know I've spent my fair share. Doug's uncle was a teacher at Pomerantown High School. Tom okay. uh, Tom Wargo. And Tom Wargo and I had it out one day in class because I am wearing a shirt I bought at the Aerosmith Guns N' Roses concert. Mm-hmm. Aerosmith was on the permanent vacation tour. Mm-hmm. Guns N' Roses was opening, touring for Appetite for Destruction. Correct. I bought two t-shirts that day. Oh. I bought the Guns N' Roses t-shirt that had the original Appetite album cover on it. Uh Uh-huh. You know, with the... With the the the, the, crab-looking teeth thing. Yes. Yes. And the girl with her titty hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I... I bought that one. Mm-hmm. And the other one I bought was an Aerosmith shirt with a brick wall graffitied on the back, and it said, shit happens. Okay. So I wear the shit happens shirt to school. And Mr. Wargo says to me, you're going to either put your, you're either going to put your jacket on or you're going to turn that shirt inside. I just said, you're either going to shut your mouth or you're going to buy my fucking wardrobe. To the office I went. <laughs> oh God! I thought the other one would get you in trouble. Oh, that one did. Yeah, that well, one, that, I wouldn't. Uh, that, that one did too. That one did too. I yeah. Um, that one got me in. That got me in trouble. That one, I didn't even get to a fucking class with that one. <laughs> well, go figure. Rape I didn't even get to a class. I'll tell you what's funny. I remember. Of all the T-shirts, I mean, my Guar T-shirt never got me in trouble, and they were they're odorous. I mean, they were having sex on that one. Yes, you know, my Slayer T-shirt uh, didn't get me in trouble, even though that had the word "sex, drugs, and violence" on the back of it. Yes, um, my "you suck" T-shirt got me in trouble. <laughs> 
Um, but it's like I remember the metal up your ass T-shirt from Metallica. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody ever got in trouble for that. No. Or the Big Johnsons or the Coed Naked. Yes. Right. Or Big Peckers. Yeah. Yep. All those. All those were fine. Yeah. Yeah. But you want to give me shit for shit happens. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, actually, you know, so Mr. Wargo and I never got along. <laughs> uh, but when Doug's father passed away, uh, right around the time of this album, actually, 1990, 99, I think it was 90 or 91 that Doug senior passed away. Mm-hmm. I went and uh, I, I, one of the, one of the times in my life I've chosen to be the bigger man. Mm-hmm. I went and I sur- I went to Mr. Wargo's room between classes, and, you know, just him and I, and as Mr. Wargo, your bro, I knew, I knew your brother quite well. And I said, your nephew, Doug is a friend of mine. And mm-hmm. I'm really sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry for being an ass, being an asshole. <laughs> Oh, uh, Christ. Brian says we had to turn the co-ed naked shirts inside out. They made us in school after they came, came out. Yeah, I never had any of the co-ed naked stuff. No, but I did yeah. have a I did have a big Packers. Mm-hmm. I had a I had a big Packers uh shirt. I had the Aerosmith shirt. I had the Guns N' Roses shirt with the with the with the titty hanging out. I had a few other objectionable things. I I know after I graduated, it wasn't Maybe a year or two after, they banned the co-ed shirts <laughs> at Panther Valley. They banned Just Do It. Yeah, the Nike the shirts. The Nike shirts. I'm like, eh. Well, we, uh, we had a... Uh, we had a... Uh, I don't know if you remember this shirt, Bill. I had a, a shirt with the... Uh, hey, Doug, what's up, Cracker? We were just talking about your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, had, uh, I had a T-shirt with a pentagram on it, right? Mm-hmm. It was uh, Church of Saint. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Okay, so I wear it to school, and a teacher doesn't say a thing to none of the teachers say a thing to me. A fellow student starts trying to lecture me on Satanism and how it's you know mm-hmm. they 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 sacrifice children and this and that. I said, Oh, have man. you ever read the Satanic Bible? No. Maybe you should shut your fucking mouth and read. <laughs> Eric, you can't say that I say anything I fucking want to say. Hmm. And with that, I get sent to the office. <laughs> Not for the shirt, but and it's off to the principal's office. You go, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that that shirt became a staple in the rotation after that, <laughs> just to oh, stir just... the shit. Oh God! And you know, I, I I I still see the I still see the girl from time to time, <laughs> and we get along great. Oh God. <laughs> We get along well. Oh, fuck. Anyway, moving on. Get whacked. This is another one that I was mad about. I I wasn't sure what this one I like the song, but I'm not sure what it's about. It's but about it's, sometimes uh, going a little crazy helps. Yeah. yeah. I, I want because I know that I have a, a comic book. And this is a weird segue, but I have a comic book about the uh, Tanya Hart and Nancy Kerrigan thing. <laughs> yeah. And the comic book is called Whacked. Right. And I can't stop thinking about, and I don't think those were uh, at the same time. No, no, so, no, no. They made a comic book? Yeah. Oh, dude, in the 90s, there were comics made about everything. Yeah, it's called Whacked, and it's all about the whole uh, Jeff Galuli, and, and, the, and I knew the whole story. They made a comic book about it. It was great. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did they have one about Lorena Bobbitt? Probably, probably. <laughs> probably, Dark Horse probably did something yeah, on that. Probably called Snipped. I will, <laughs> I will, I will never forget. Just the tip. <laughs> I was, I was, I was at Andy's in the basement, and I don't remember if it was him or his sister that brought this article down, and we're reading about what happened about Lorena, and and, and, and like, she like drove down and like threw it out the yard, and <laughs> like, is this a fucking joke? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hey, it worked out well for it worked out well for fucking uh, old John Wayne. He ended up doing porns after that. Oh god! Between Lorena Bobbitt and like uh, Joey Butterfuco, John Butterfuco. Yeah, Amy Fisher, <laughs> yeah, it's like don't fuck with a man. Butterfuco, 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 Butterfuco. <laughs> well, I really want to be going to see a Butterfuco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, son of a bitch! Next song is one of my absolute all-time favorite songs mm-hmm. by any band, not just Suicidal Tendencies. 
Send me your money. This song, I fucking <laughs> love it. It's a great song. Love it. The bass line's fucking incredible. God, it's fucking Trujillo. Oh, at, my Trujillo God. At the height of his powers. It's to mm. love this song. And once again, it's a song about preachers wanting your fucking money. Here, no, here comes another con man hiding behind a collar. Yep, yep. His only God is the almighty dollar. He ain't no prophet. He ain't no healer. He's just a two-bit goddamn money stealer. Yep. Yep. It's never. It's <laughs> That's just a... It's there was actually a news article today about a preacher I I believe in Florida that just got nailed on racketeering charges. <laughs> was it Joel Osteen? No, I don't Cru- think it was Cruffalo him. Dollar. No, I don't think it was him. Yeah, that one always gets me. I, we've talked about him before. That always gets me. There's a fucking uh, uh, Doug says back in our day when they took a knee in sports, they literally took a knee. Yes, they <laughs> did. But um. The, there, there is a fucking TV preacher, and he's one of those. He's one of the, he, one of those guys that th- his uh, his religious doctrine is: if I'm doing well, God's gonna make you do well. So yeah. send me your money. Yeah, yeah. And the motherfucker's name is Creflo Dollar. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like motherfucker. Sometimes you think we're in the wrong line of work. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's like one line in there, you know. I, doesn't matter what you send, but what you send is what? It's the difference between a Porsche and a Rolls Royce. Uh, hang on. How much you give is your, your own, own choice. choice. But to me, it's the difference between a Porsche and a Rolls Royce. That's it. I want you to make it hard when you dig it into your, your pockets. Because it makes me feel so good to watch my profits rocket. Yeah. 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 Now, if oh. you can only send a dollar or two, there ain't a hell of a lot I can promise to you. Yes. But if he wants to see Heaven's Door, make out a check for $500 or more. more. Yeah, and you know what? That The best part is a lot of those... Uh, mega church televangelist. That's what they said. Yeah, it, it wasn't even hiding a fact. I think he even mentions Baker in this song. Yeah, who's yep. going to be the new, who's going to be the new king of the fakers? Who's yeah. going to take the place of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, then there's a part at the end. We'll take cash. We'll take checks. We'll take credit cards. We'll take your grandma. We'll take your grandma's dentures if they got gold, gold in, in them. them. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Fucking great song. I remember the video for this one too. It was awesome. Yeah. All those purple vestments. Mm. Uh, fucking Doug saying uh, talks uh, t- says he has the Ren and Stimpy comics and videos. I I miss Ren and Stimpy. Those guys they were such. Oh fun. my god, they were awesome. What is it, man? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were circus midgets. <laughs> <laughs> no sir. Hmm. No sir. I don't have any need for any rubber nipples. <laughs> but do you have any walrus covers? <laughs> Send the police. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and powdered toast man yep. yep oh god god Ren and Snippy were so much fun what the uh, hell was the one the yak that came in to get, get the, the shaving yak. oh the shaving yak yes oh my god yep uh, Doug we, we yes Doug we should start our own church I am an ordained minister we can do that and I like money yes <laughs> send me your money send the plate Pass the, Pass, the Pass, Pass the plate. Pass the collection. No, plate. not a plate. Too shallow. Bowl. <laughs> Put, bring out the popcorn bowl. Bring up, yeah. Hang on. I, I got a big mixing bowl upstairs. <laughs> Next is a song called Emotion Number 13. Great song. Mm-hmm. And Emotion Number 13 is not a set emotion. We've all got our own particular Emotion Number 13, and we don't... and. There's always going to be something that sets it off. Mm-hmm. Emotion number 13, it feels like I'm dying. Yeah. Great song. Great, great. Yeah, just it, the whole out. I can't. This next one, though, is a weird one. Yes. This is about the news media. Golden yeah. Breakdown? No. Oh, Dis- I'm sorry. Disco's out, murders Disco's out, yeah. Because Disco was out for a long time before this. I mean. But this is this is about the news media and like the, the whole theory that if it bleeds, it leads bad news travels fast, quicker than good news. What's that got to do with disco? <laughs> Nothing, but disco's out and murders in. Yeah. But I mean, it's like disco is like seven. I don't, I mean, I mean, I like the song. It, it's a great thing to chant, but all I wanted was a Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wrong album. He got yeah. His, wrong he, album. But he got his Pepsi. Yeah. But there's a video out, video out of him standing there with a diet coke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I wanted was a Pepsi. No Coke, Pepsi. <laughs> no fries, cheats. Uh. No hamburger, cheeseburger, no burger. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, if it bleeds, it leads. There right. you go. Uh, n- the final song of the album is going breakdown. Good end of the song. I mean, good to end to it. If the first one just hypes everything up, this one is like, you know, I- I've reached my end. Uh, Doug says the church of asshole. We'll call it the church of assholes. Hang on. We should. Is no. it called we us can't, assholes? We can't just say asshole. We should like, Sphincter. No, no, the Church of Assholes. I got Archbishop Coolio here, or Culo here. Not Coolio, Culo. Culo? No, no, I'm not, I'm not, no. Look, I don't mind wearing the funny hats. But I'm not going to join me in no Church of Assholes. Yeah, you are. No. <laughs> You've been indoctrinated, bitch. No, no, if I'm starting anything, it's the Royal Order of the Holy Cheese Danish. I don't like Cheese Danish. What the fuck? I don't give a shit. Now. See, we're already. I'm I'm a Lutheran. This fucking thing. I'm separating from it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so instead of the Kingdom Hall, you're gonna have the Princeton Hall. Yeah, the Danishes, man. It's all about the Danish. Uh, He's Danish. The shoe. Suck. The shoe. Anyway, go and break down. This is one of many throughout their career. One of many suicidal tendencies. Fuck around and find out songs. Mm-hmm. I'm going break down. I'm going to break you in fucking two. Yeah. And, you know, Mike was Mike was kind of skinny at the start of Suicidal Tendencies career. Mm-hmm. He's not anymore. Mike Muir is a very intimidating looking individual nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like when we saw him at when we saw him with Slayer. Yeah. Mike's big. I would have <laughs> fucked with him. The fuck no. Not even with a baseball bat. Hmm. But yeah, um, great record. Uh, good pick. Good pick, Bill. It almost, almost redeemed. Bill, uh, Doug says Bill will, uh, will be our deacon, and Jim is the altar boy. Oh, no. I'm not going to be no altar boy with these guys. They'll do nasty things to me. Allegedly. I'll do nasty things to you whether or not you're an altar boy. <laughs> like, Dirty motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, I give the album 9 out of 10. Uh, yeah, mine's like probably nine point five, nine point repeating because it's just wonderful. And only the "Give It Revolution" was the only one. Was like I didn't remember it, and it kind of upset me when I heard it. Like, oh shit, you know, I sorry I couldn't find the the cassette I wanted to hold up uh, next to Days of Thunder, but it was like buried. And I just it wasn't on the top layer. I said, "Fuck it." Nice. What do you give it? I was never a really big suicidal fan because I just. Mike singing, I I didn't, I his singing style, savior, yes, yeah, savior wonders. list, his singing Perfect. style, I I I never got into it. Now, like the singles, like you know, send me your money, yeah, and uh, yeah, you can't bring me down. And what was the one that you were talking about with the Pepsi? Institutionalized. 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 I mean, Body Count does a great version of that, mm-hmm. by the way. I never bought any suicidal albums. Never. Oh Jesus! Honestly, I have. Somewhere I have suicidal tendencies. I have joined the army. I have lights, camera, revolution. Um, I have still psycho after all these years. Yeah, that was the remakes. That was the remakes. Uh, what was the one right after? It was either right after or right before lights, camera. The prime cuts? No, not prime cuts. The, the one with Trip at the Brain. God, I don't remember the album's names. Anyway, uh, I, I've been a, I've been a suicidal fan yeah. for a long time. Mm-hmm. I mean, These not, guys are great. It's not a bad album, and I can honestly say this has been all week long. It's what I listen to on my commute. Yeah. To and back. I must have listened to the album three or four times. Um, I'm going to give it a seven. Okay, fair enough. It was listenable. It wasn't, you know, there wasn't. Anything I of course I, it was of course I, it was a great album no I yeah I know it's, <laughs> one of us put it in but yeah, like a great said, album just, great great album great movie I mean it was a, this, no this has been a great fucking week now don't be sad just two out of three okay. I can see your eyes but I can't see.